It has been quite some time. But I have returned. I have returned. Yes, it has been some time. But I have returned. And I return with many presents. Today I want to show you guys really how you can make very easy organic bio designs. So this is going to be focusing on natural geometry. Geometry that comes, that originates from plants and trees and water and fire, all of those elements. This is in any case where the future, what the future is going to look like. If you're looking at futuristic cars and houses, it's going to turn back into nature. That's what the designs are going to look like. So we have a few advantages by looking, uh, by designing, making these designs right now. Nobody else is doing it. If you look at these expos and these art, you go to the art museums, you'll see paintings there. People are putting their hands on the paintings, putting their hands in the paintings, throwing it all over around and charging, completely charging unimaginable prices for it. And when you go to these expos, you see there are just replicas of shops, replicas of shops. I've been to quite a few of them. I have not been blown away by any art that I've seen. So that's sort of the idea and what I'm trying to present to you guys. You guys follow this strategy this year. You will be able to make large amounts of funds in the line, in alignment with your passion. If you have a passion for art and creativity, then this is what you're going to do. So you don't want to be working behind a toll. That's a, a waste, of, waste your of your time. You want to be earning funds in alignment with your passion. And everybody should be doing that. Everybody has passions and things that uh, certain directions that pull them in. Right. And everybody should focus on them. It should change from a hobby to a passion, something that you make real. But the only the only way that you can make it real is by focusing on it and becoming it before that actually happens. So all of your actions, your words, your behaviors, your thought patterns and the people you surround yourself with need to be in alignment with there where you are going. So allow me to present to you guys. What we're going to be doing is going to be very easy. It's going to be very fast. And this is basic, basically bypassing geometry nodes. So I'm currently focusing on geometry nodes, but obviously that is a task and a half. You know, yeah, I'm not focusing on it like I should, but yes, it is quite a mission. Now this is going to be very easy. You can be sort of new to Blender and you can make these organic bio designs. And the point of this is to make unique designs and then present it to, to, to people because these designs don't exist anywhere. You go to any shops, right? Everybody's got products and everybody wants the customers to come to their products. Your design is going to do exactly that. By attracting people to your design, the uniqueness of your design, they're automatically being attracted to the product. So it's a win-win, guys, I promise, you. I promise you. So let's jump into this. Let's jump into this. This is going to be very, very easy. So there's just a few things I just want to um, quickly mention. I'm using something called machine tools. So you can go and download this, but it's basically instead of going into when we go into the vertex, instead of pressing one, two and three to go from vert, uh, uh, vertices to edges to faces, I'm just pushing tab and I'm going to face. I'm going to vertices. The other thing is if you go click over here, you can sort of see X-ray mode. I also do that when I press tab and I go to the occlude or whatever that is, it just does the same thing. So yeah, I'll try to mention that a, a few times again through. And then there was also another one. We'll get to that later. So let us do this quick and easy guys. Let's jump in. So the first object we're going to put in is an icosphere. And all you're going to do is you're just going to scale this up a little bit. And we're going to throw a few modifiers on here. So the first one you want to throw in is the decimate modifier. Then you want to throw wireframe and a subdivision. Where's the freaking subdivision here? There we go. One, two, three, three subdivisions. So it's going to look something like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this ratio down all the way up until you find something that looks uh, that looks cool. So what you're going to do is you're also going to turn this thickness up all the way. Okay, because 
We're going to run into this. Um, obviously, with the 3D printing, you want even or you want enough thickness solidification because if it's too thin, it's going to create issues over there. So that's okay, right? That's okay. Something that like that looks pretty cool. So what you want to do, you can shade smooth that and you just want to go to the vertices and this one at the bottom, you want to delete it and you want to press alt, just click that edge over there and you want to scale Z zero just to make sure it's straight. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to make it more straight after what we're going to do with this is we're going to right click and you're going to convert to, because what happens if you apply this, um, these modifiers, you go to the wireframe and you apply it, it's going to create issues. So what we're going to do is you're just going to leave all the modifiers on and you're going to convert this to a mesh. So if you want, you can just duplicate this one. Uh, if you want to change it later, you just put it over there and hide it. You're going to just convert it to a mesh and that's going to turn into a mesh. So now what you're going to do, uh, press alt and select these edges over there and scale Z zero. And just bring it down a little bit, right? And this one also scale Z zero and it's going to bring it down a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to click these. You're going to put on the snap the vertex. You're going to bring it down on the Z axis and you're just going to snap it over there. Then you're going to press shift alt, select those edges and you're just going to say bridge your edge loops. So that's cool. That's sort of what it looks like. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add another subdivision on here. Which you can put two and um, just to have a nice flat edge here at the bottom. You're just going to put two controllers. Okay, you look like that. Now, yeah, what we're going for here is we're going to have a sort of uh, a thing, a plant thing come from the bottom. So you want that hole at the bottom slightly larger. So what we can do is you can add a simple deform. And you jump over to a stretch and your Z. I think it was stretch or taper. Yes, taper. And your Z. And what you're going to do is you're just going to taper it down. Right, so you have a larger hole at the bottom. You can see the difference between that and that. This is more of a of the shape. So that's exactly what you're looking for. There you go. Apply all transformations. So what we're going to do now is um, let's throw in a circle with five vertices. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to say once it's uh, round about there, this one we can always change at the end. Don't worry about it. You're going to go extrude, scale. You can just put this snap off and you can scale it. So extrude, scale, let's just make another one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a subsurface division to this one. Three subsurface divisions. And um, yeah, so we want to... A sort of gap where the object is going to fit in. So that's the purpose of these. That's the purpose of these faces. Those faces there, we're going to edit that now. now. So remember, we're going to have one face and then we need another extrude scale because these faces are going to be the one that's extruded down. And you're going to look at the sort of size of the circle on the inside because obviously you want the mesh to fit through the other mesh. So what you're going to do is we're going to extrude it up. I'm just going to look at the size and the size is somewhat perfect. Okay. So another thing you want to look at now, you can, when we're doing this, when we're putting this object going through the side, you want to look at the, the face, the angle that you're doing it from, because the, uh, later we're going to be using um, symmetry. So it's easier to do it from this, from this point right from this angle over here, the straight angle, because then you have the mirrors on the left and the right hand side. So you want to come from the X over here. And then what's going to happen is from this face, you're going to extrude, and you're going to scale. So right over there, and then you can drop uh, one over there. And then alt click this one and this one you're going to extrude up. Okay. 
this one so just see through mode this one goes slightly to the left you're going to extrude another one here you're going to scale it down goes back you're going to extrude this one here scale it down and then you're going to make the last one scale it so um and then you can f close it and i invert it right so you're going to have something that looks like that. That's actually a pretty cool shape right over there. Right? And this thing, obviously, we can just uh, rotate it to see which which face it's going to go through. We can go through that face, that face, that face. Now, with a 3D printer, you don't want any angles uh, that goes below 45 degrees. Because then you're going to need supports and all of that, and that's sometimes a mess. So you just want to make sure all your angles are up. They can go up, but not below 45 degrees. So for instance, this one can come a little bit more down so it can fit through the holes. But that's basically what you're looking for, easy like that. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna focus on this object and we're gonna go to these faces. So one, so you can put your subdivision off. One, two, three, four, sorry. One, two, three. And you're gonna invert them just a tiny bit. One, two, three, shift R repeat. One, two, three, shift R repeat. One, two, three, shift R repeat. And just so on and so forth. So now what we're gonna do is select these faces, extrude them by minus 0 0.05. I know it's slightly mission to do it like this, but I don't necessarily do things the fastest way, but on Blender, there's always a way to do it. So I do it this way. <laughs> okay. And what you're going to be left with, if you put your subdivision on, you're going to have these nice faces coming through this, through to the side. So if you want your mesh, uh, like with these edges on the top, you can totally leave it. But I usually just put in a control loop and I just pull a little bit back. So it just uh, looks like that. So there we go. And then uh, what we can do is uh, we can put another control loop here to the top. We have sort of this thing and another control loop to the bottom. Sort of that thing over there. So that looks cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring back this mesh. Okay, you know, grab it to the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate it down you know, uh, uh, focus on this face and we're going to go to the vertices here sorry so this one you can apply you can apply you go to the vertex and uh, see through mode and we're just going to select these vertices control i to invert x delete those vertices and you're left with uh, the bottom so now we can bring this bottom all the way down over there. Okay, and we can hide this one. And you can just see here from the top, from the top over there. So let's just see here. Okay, so let's just do this also. Uh, pass through and take these and hide them anyway there we go there we go okay so now what we're going to do is um these faces these ones that go around, you're gonna remove them. So you can see, okay, that's sort of what it looks like. So you wanna get these um, vertices, put the subdivision back on. So you wanna get these, so you see the outside one controls this one, controls this one, and this one controls this one. So you wanna take these so that they just, um, they just close I just have slightly enough gap. You can make larger gap just to make sure. There we go. 
but I'm saying pass through, but now it's not letting me pass through. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, this is probably the hardest part of it. And this is not missions, guys. I've been working on Blender for a few years, and you get a lot more missions than this. <laughs> this is, uh, in my in my opinion, this is just quick and easy. Okay, so you're left with this um, this shape over there, which is cool. And uh, so what you want to do now is we're just going to go to these faces that we've made, the edge, and take this one and this one. And it's going to extrude it down. And you're going to right click and you're going to say bridge edge loops. Okay. Make it come down a bit more. There, there we are. There we go. Okay. And then basically you got your whole. So what I do usually is I put a control loop and I bring it and I take it all the way down. So in other words, you put it in on the side and you bring it all the way down. It's going to look like that. And you do the same on these edges. Take it to the side and you bring it all the way down. It's going to have a nice, nice uh, place for it to fit in. Zoop. Nice and snug and easy. Okay, now we can uh, just remove this thing. So what we're going to do is bring this thing back down again. Come over there. Okay. And um, yeah. There you go. So obviously it fits in this way. So you want it to go through that face. Uh, there we go. There's my vertices. Okay. So what you do is just go to occlude again, and then um, you can just take these these vertices. So it just fits nicely in. Maybe grab these, bring them down a bit. Those. Bring it down a bit and grab that. Bring it down a bit. So it just fits nicely in there. There we go. So now, what you're going to do, the hard part's over, guys. The rest is just simple, easy, easy, easy. So what you're going to do is this one, you can just uh, dissolve them. Uh, dissolve edges. So you want to dissolve edges. You still want all of these edges going through. So now... Guys, also just remember to save your file in case you're making mistakes. So you're going to right click, we're going to subdivide one, two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four. And then you're going to go mesh, transform to sphere. Zoop. Make it a sphere like this. And you extrude it down. So something like that, not too much. Then uh, let's go to these faces. So you want one. And you're going to, there we go, something like that, invert these faces, that one, that one, that one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to extrude it down slightly, Ctrl Z. So I usually just put the subdivision off of this, otherwise I can't see. If you want it to run about over there, click this one, Shift R, this one, Shift R, this one, Shift R, that one, Shift R. And then, so if you look at it now, it's going to look like this. And just to give it that proper detail, you just want to um, take this face. So what we're going to do is we're going to add control loops in here. That one, no, that is not the right one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And then you want to go to these faces and you want to, again, and set them that one that one that one that one okay and now you're gonna have some nice detail on these you'll see at the edges they look like this and that's because we need control loop going to the top obviously we need to just close these so you can just select them press F you can invert it like this and then uh, you can also just put another control loop down over there 
Okay, so far we got this guy. So now this is where the magic happens. Pretty easy. So from here on, you're going to save your file. I just want to save your file because, okay, so a few things. Another thing, uh, sorry, another thing I forgot. Let's go to these faces over here. And um, what we're going to do is you're going to select control, click these faces over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to unselect this one, this one, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. And the same on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they just mirrored on the side. And what you're going to do is you're going to extrude these and scale them slightly. So again, what you do is you can put the subdivision off of this. And what you want to watch out for are these, um, obviously, these dips on the side. If you extrude them and you go too much in, it's going to do this. So you just want to go extrude scale. So you see those. You just want to bring it up. It's just a tiny loop, really. And then you want to add a control loop on the side. And that's going to give us some nice detail. So the organic bios work very nice for this because let me show you exactly how it's going to work. You just want to make, and you can go crazy with these. You can make any shapes you want. Now you want to save your file. Because from this point on forward, we are going to lose all control of geometry, control loops, Anything you want to want to do with that, do it now. <laughs> do it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the subdivision. Now, with three D printing, it will print this. You see these uh, these faces. So you know what? One one thing I am seeing here, guys. Sorry. One thing I am seeing here is I have made uh, my thing a little bit too high. So let me just go to where I had the subdivision. There we go. Uh, I've made mine a bit too high. So what I'm going to do, include, I'm just going to select all the faces and we're going to bring it down. That looks now much better. There we go. That looks much better. Okay. So apply. So the models, all of these faces, basically, if you look at the geometry of it, these faces are all going to be turned into triangles on the slicer. So you want to make sure that your mesh is smooth. And in order to do that, specifically for the next step, is you want to add another subsurface division of two. And you apply it. So when you apply um, smooth, the smooth modifier on Blender, it does not work um, on 3D print. The 3D print is still using the geometry. The Blender is just smoothing it from, from what it looks like, but the geometry remains the same. You have to smooth the geometry in Blender before you do it. So here we go. So what we're going to do now, very easy. You're going to go over to your sculpt mode. Now, you must apply that uh, subsurface modifier because otherwise this is a nightmare. It's not going to work. So another thing, you need to be in the top view. If you're from the side view and you're doing this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to alter the geometry on the Z axis, which we don't want. So you're going to put your mirror on here on the X. And what we're going to do, so here... You can literally do anything you want, but let me just show you. There's no specific way to do this. There's no specific way to do this. So you get out like a... No, well, there we go. There we go. One like this. One like that. Okay, and there you have a pretty cool, there you have a pretty cool design. I mean, um, maybe come in here. And what you're doing, really, is you're turning this into a bloody spaceship. Honestly, you're bypassing the geometry nodes. And you are making this spectacular, spectacular piece. 
Now, one thing I am seeing is it's most definitely uh, way too much to the front. So let's just grab it. I'm just going to pull it back. So another thing, excuse me, excuse me now before I forget this. This, you want to watch out. You want to watch out because if you're now going um, and you're sculpting, you're sculpting this object and you're doing this, it's going to be changing the circle where that, uh, where the, the top part is going to fit in. So I'm maybe just going to do this. It should be, should be okay. Should be 100%. Yeah. So you just want to watch out for that. One thing I am seeing is this uh, mesh is going way too much to the front. I'll maybe grab these. Let me grab this. To the side. Now that looks much better. So don't worry too much about, um, you see if you do this, it's making that uh, funny geometry. It's fine. It's on the same elevation. So it's not a, it's not an issue. And really you can go crazy with this. So you can go here to the insides with these over here. I don't know what it's doing now. And um, you just want to make it, you know, like water flowing like water. So like I said, all these, all these designs are going to be representations of the natural organic bio material. And that's it, guys. I mean, look at this thing we've just made. Look at this thing we've just made. I mean, this looks bloody awesome. Honestly, 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 this thing looks very awesome. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how to, um, how to add shaders and colors and everything to this maker. And it's also going to be very easy using that strategy. And then we are going to go, and we're going to go print it. 